How's it going YouTube? Got another video showing you how to get the PlayStation 1 emulator on your phone. The free version, not the paid version, but I'll show you the paid way too. First thing you want to do is you need to download the FPS for Android. You can download it off the market for 420. Again, nobody likes to pay for anything, so this is if you want to pay for it. And I don't think you do, so we're going to go to the free version. And it's the BIOS. And right here. I'll pull up this link below and you guys can download right off of this link. There will be a timer right here for like 20 seconds I think and then it'll click you just download the file. Alright, so mine's right here. The next thing you need to do is you need to email it to yourself. Okay, so use the Google or use your Gmail account and make sure you send it to your Gmail account. You can email it to yourself if you're using the same one that you have the app for on your phone. Make sure you have the Gmail app on your phone and it just it cuts out like 10 steps out of this process. If you don't have one just make a Gmail account. It takes 10 seconds and you're done. So take your folder, just drag it right into your thing in here and give it a few minutes. It's gonna take a few minutes to go ahead and load. Uh, while that does that you can download the BIOS which are right here. I'll also post the link below. I don't need to download them. I already have them on my phone but I'll show you guys what I mean by that here in a second. So once you download them, make sure you save them somewhere you know where they are, like your desktop for instance. And then you're just going to go to your phone. Right here is the folder for my phone. And if I scroll if I scroll down, i got to find it. PSX BIOS. Just make a folder that PSX BIOS and put that in there. Make sure it has this name on it. That's the one you guys should be downloading. Is the one I just sent you. And that, that should make this a lot easier. Also, download games off of it. I'm not going to download any games right now because it takes too long now to feel like dealing with them. But uh, I'll post this link below. And these are... I this I downloaded Resident Evil off here. That's what I plan to show you guys. And it works just fine. A lot of these other ones are a pain in the ass. And... I'm just not going to get into it right now. So for now, I'm just going to show you Resident Evil, and it is already on my phone. Uh, should have games on here somewhere. PSX BIOS, not what I want. Maybe it's under Resident Evil. I know I got it in there. Just give me a second, and I'll find it. Okay, I lied. I forgot I deleted it off my phone to try to make more room. So it turns out I am going to be downloading the game. I have to show you guys how to do that real quick. Let's see if this is done. Go ahead and send that to myself. Oops. That sends to myself. And where was I? Wait for this. I had to go away. There's no way to skip it, unfortunately. You just kind of got to wait. Wait it out. Here we go. Now it's loading. Okay. So this is how you're going to download the game. Scroll down till you find. Well, it's been a while since I downloaded the game off here. Uh, right here. It's going to be 269 megabytes. It's a pretty big file. There you go. It's gonna download. This is gonna take a few minutes to uh, to download, so I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and wait for it the whole time. If you haven't already, while I wait for this, go to our Facebook, like our Facebook, tipsforandroid.com. If you don't want to do that, go ahead and scan it on your phone, and it should bring you right to our page. In the meantime, I am going to pause this video and wait for that to finish downloading, and then show you guys the next steps. Okay, just finished downloading that. Alright, the next thing you need to do after you download that game is make a folder on your desktop. We'll just call it Resident, for Resident Evil. And take this and open it up. I use WinZip. Get rid of that. And we're going to extract it to that folder. So find res right here and go ahead and extract it to that folder. Might take a little bit of time, it's a pretty big file. 
I didn't really want to put it on my phone because it'll suck up a lot of room, but hey. It's another thing to keep in mind when you're putting PlayStation 1 games on your phone. They do take up quite a bit of room, so make sure you have a big memory card if you're going to be doing this. Mine's only 8 gigs, so I don't actually have that much room on there. You buy 16, 32 gigabyte ones, 32 gigabyte micro SD is going to run you a little bit of money, but... Okay, so that was just put on the phone. Go ahead and close that, or let's put it in the folder. Now find your phone right here, and we will go ahead and make a folder, and we will call it PlayStation One Games. The name of the folder don't matter. Just make sure you know what it is called. And take this, put it in here, and that's gonna take a few minutes to go ahead and put it in there. So why it does that, I'll go back over here. There's other games you can buy on this website. Normally when you are looking for a PlayStation 1 game, they're not called ROMs, they're usually called ISOs. And to find ones that actually download is usually a bit of a pain. It's a lot of times when you try and zip in them, it wants the disc. I'm sure you can find out more of them online, but that's all I do. Let's see if I can find some of the other ones that I had on here. Wait for it to go to the next page. I know they have Metal Gear Solid. These are the most popular ones right here. And I tried downloading Final Fantasy 7 and it wasn't working for me. Might work for you, I don't know. I wasn't really too uh, concerned about it. Generally, if you see Disk 1 of 3, Disk 1 of 4, these are usually going to be big files to put onto your phone. If you just see like this one, just says you. This one just says you. Those are usually just one folder. Or one file and that's it and then it should be good see that's still going on there yep uh, there's a bunch of them on here I don't know which ones work you can usually google to find out which ones work I haven't really put a whole lot of care into which one I want to play because I honestly don't like PlayStation 1 the graphics are just too bad for me I can't stand it and the emulator is kinda hard to understand I haven't played around with the emulator too much so I don't really know how to get it to work, or uh, get it to play every game, show all the controls. I'll show you what I'm talking about as soon as I start it up, and you guys will see what I mean. If you just play around with it, I'm sure you'll figure it out. I personally just stick with the Game Boy and the uh, N64, and I just stick with those two and play those. And they both work out pretty well. Um, still waiting for that to finish up here in a second. I'll post all the links to everything I've showed you guys up to this far on the YouTube channel. Just look down below the description, and they'll all be on there. We've got our Facebook page. Go ahead and like our Facebook page. If you guys have any questions, whether it's about the emulator, where to find games, or just Android stuff in general, just like our Facebook page, and go ahead and leave your comments there. Please like our Facebook page anyway, and we'll give you guys updates. I update it pretty frequently with every time I find something new that I could share with you guys. And alright, so there it is, it's in there. Got my game in there, got my BIOS folder in there, right here's my BIOS. And once you have those two things in there, then you can go ahead and close this, and you can go on your phone, and you want to turn your phone from disk drive to charge only. And I'm going to do that right here, and I'm going to put up my screenshot right here, so just give me two seconds. Okay, so once you turn it back onto your hard drive, you should get a screen that looks like, well, not maybe not like this, but your screen. And before how I said to email that the APK file to yourself to your Gmail, and this is why, because when you go to your Gmail, you find your Gmail app, click on that, and open up your email that has it on there, and it says install. This makes it a lot easier, and it skips a bunch of steps and just putting it on your phone to just email it to yourself, click install, let it fetch that file real quick. If you don't have a Gmail account, just make one, get the app, it is going to save you a bunch of pain. Okay, so you'll get this screen, just go ahead and click install, click install, and once it's done, just click open, and it should ask you for the, okay, can you stop software legally, yep, see, it'll give you a little legal warning, if you want to accept conditions, just click yes. Click OK. 
Okay, so mine didn't ask me for my BIOS folder. So if yours does, just find wherever you put your BIOS and go ahead and stick it and just go ahead and uh, put it on there. Should ask you, it's pretty easy, just find out wherever you put it. This is the screen that I'm showing right now. And to do what you need to do next, and this might be the same way to get your BIOS folders, just go and click SD card. And this will pop up. And if you are trying to put your BIOS folders, just find wherever you had your BIOS. And I'm pretty sure mine's at the end. Click your PSX BIOS folder like I had mine. And there will be your BIOS bin. I don't need to do that, but you may need to. Oh, hold on one second. Get back in there. Okay. Right to SD card. Now, this is to find your game. This is why I told you guys to label the folders where you can remember them because now you got to find your game. Scroll through and find PlayStation 1 games. PlayStation 1, Res for Resident Evil. And then you have these two options. Click on the bin. No, no, uh, it says mine and buy it. BIOS just means you can save the game. And uh, I should try to show you guys that here in a second. You can see how it's starting up. This has got my phone. I'm holding my phone just like this. If I turn my phone, you'll see it turns sideways. You can hear the sound. It does not look this bad on here. This is just because I'm doing a screenshot. Just making it look worse than it actually does. It's running smooth on my phone. I can tell you that right now. And I don't know why they don't show the joysticks. Like I said, I haven't really played around with this too much. But uh, if you just scroll over, we'll do push over and click new game. Be right here, new game. Click X. We'll go to easy mode. And again, it does not play this slow. It plays just fine. I'm running the Evo 3D. It's running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. You can hear the music in the back. I'll just turn that down. I don't really care about the music. Oh, there you go. That's how you get it. Some games work, some games don't. You want to go ahead and just click on your settings. Go to settings, system. And right here, if you want to select your BIOS, BIOS, go down to SD card. Down here, SD card. And slow down to PSX. I know they will mind PSX BIOS. BIOS pin. And restart. See, there you go. Now I got things in there. A lot of options you can play around with. I don't really mess around with any of them because I don't really care for this. And it's still playing, you can see. And there you go. That's how you get it on there. Go ahead and like our Facebook page. If you got any questions, comments, go ahead and post them below the video or go to our Facebook page and leave it on our wall. If you guys could like our Facebook page, that'd be great. And any other questions, just go ahead and let us know. We'll do what we can do. Check out our other videos. we got plenty of other videos to help you guys out with anything else. And hope you guys enjoy the video.